You know how when you're a little kid, people ask you what you want to be when you grow up? I used to say I wanted to be a wizard. And now that I am grown up, I am a wizard. My name is Sam, and this is my very first video. So, internet, please be kind. Please. A little while back, I heard this quote from this author named Arthur C. Clarke, and it goes, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And so, during this past year, where we've all had a lot of time to sit on our hands and think about our lives, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I actually made some technology that is magic? The more I think about this project, the trickier it's getting. The number one priority, obviously, is that it needs to look and feel like a magic wand. You shouldn't know that there's any technology inside of it. So I have to figure out a way to make a wand out of wood that packs a whole bunch of technology in it that can talk to all the appliances in my house. Because all of the appliances and stuff in my house aren't smart appliances, I can't just wave a wand and, and tell them to do something. That got me thinking down a different path Maybe what I can do instead of like making the wand talk to an individual appliance is I can make a smart plug that the appliance can plug into. I can like wave my wand around, blast that plug over there, that plug turns on and boop, lights come on. So um, usually when I get to this part of the project, I kind of know what the next step is. I think this time around, I'm actually, I'm gonna test stuff before I build stuff. Uh, you know, the age old saying, like, cut twice measure once. Anyway, so I went out and I bought these two boards and they're just like circuit boards that have some little Bluetooth chips on them. And so boop, 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 ideally they can just like talk to each other. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get this guy with this dangly bit to talk to this guy over here. And if everything goes well, this guy is going to make this guy's little light come on. I want to get it on video just so you guys can see kind of the beginnings of it all, right? And I guess just to kind of show scale too. Look at look at how big these are. I know. Yeah, look at how big these are, and then when we get there, think about how small everything does end up getting. I'm a hardware person, right? Like I, I make physical things. So coding projects are always iffy. But you guys, I feel like a proud papa. My coding project actually worked. <laughs> So I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm gonna pull you in, and I'm gonna show you. This guy right here, pretend that's the plug. And so he's just like listening. He's like, hey, is there a wand out here anywhere? And this guy right here is gonna be the wand. If I were to swing him around like a wand, you should see a little tiny orange light come on right here. And I know this is super boring, but just bear with me because it's so exciting for me. And that's all that matters because it's my project. So get that. I turn it on. And if you look, there's stuff coming up on the screen. That means they're talking to each other over Bluetooth. That's good news. So now if I like tilt it in one direction, maybe tilt it in another direction, and we're gonna go this way again, and maybe, oh, still nothing. This is super awkward. Oh, oh, there it is. Do you see it? So what happened just now is it thought that I swung the wand in one direction and swung it in the other, and this registered it and everything's working and it's wonderful. <laughs> so many hours of coding and I wish there was a better way to show it on video, but there isn't. This is it. This is everything. I just finished designing the electronics for the wand and I'm kind of at a loss because I'm not entirely sure whether I should show this process in this video or not. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over it for now. If it is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a separate video on all the technical design aspects. Now that I'm done with this, I'm actually going to send this to someone to fabricate for me. Think of it kind of like I am a painter and I made this beautiful painting and I'm sending it to a print house for someone to print out some copies of it. We'll circle back on the electronics in like a week or two when the boards do come in. But yeah, let's continue on. I got stuff in the mail. All the electronics are here. Circuit boards. I'm gonna use some scissors like a normal person, you know? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, they're beautiful. Look how small they are. I could like stick one of these up my nose and not even notice. 
Anyway, this is a quarter. This is the circuit board. All of those little squares that you see, that's where the parts go. You guys, these new boards are so small. I went to go dig out Mr. Dangle, our old friend, just to compare. This new board has everything that this thing had, and then some. I have to go and put all the little chips on this now by hand. Ooh, Lord, montage mode is fast. Say hello to my Easy Bake Oven. Open it up. I'm gonna cook it. I'll catch you after this is done. All right, so the oven just finished up. Let's check them out. Ooh, shiny. It's done. I'm gonna go load the code on it just like we did earlier in the video. But after that, we can go ahead and start cutting some wood, make a real wand. I do wanna take a second though. I know I'm a little bit biased since I made it, but it is really cool that this is all of the technology you need to make a hunk of wood into a magic wand. Sufficiently advanced technology, indistinguishable. I wanna get over and start cutting things and making things, but really quick, I just wanna show you how it all goes together so that you have an idea as you see it all being built. This bottom part that's gonna hold the circuit board and a battery, the top that kinda of like clamshells on, a little butt piece, and then the long wand part. And then to hide the seam between all this, I'm actually just gonna wrap the whole center in leather. So that's the plan. Let's go do it. All the parts are cut, circuit board is done, the code is loaded, all that's left is to actually put it all together. This is it. We're down to the home stretch. All that's left is wrapping it in leather. Once it's done, let's, let's go do some magic. Here we go, you guys. Six-year-old me is about to lose it. I have finished the build and all that's left to do is actually test the thing. It's now like 11 o'clock at night and dark outside, but I wasn't gonna wait until tomorrow. So here we go. Inaugural test. And off. <laughs> it worked. Okay, wait. On. Let me see if I can get it to come back on. And one up. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, that's a month and a half of work right there. <laughs> All right. Let's roll the outro. Can't believe that freaking worked. This was easily one of the more fun projects I've ever had a chance to work on. I'm gonna follow this up with another video on the smart plug and specifically how it interacts with the wand. I'm planning on making a whole bunch of videos of other projects in the future. I have a couple of old projects that I'd like to make videos for. When I make a project like this, I get tons of circuit boards because it costs the same basically to get five as it does to get 
a hundred. I'm thinking about giving away 10 or 20 of them. So I was thinking whatever the, the top 10 comments are next week, I will go ahead and reach out to those people and send them search reports. This project, just like all of my other projects, will be fully open source. I'm just giving away the plans for free. There's no questions asked. And so you can make your very own wand. If you want to support this channel and you want to support more of my work in the future, I am going to make a Patreon and I will link that down below as well. One last thing and one last plug is go ahead and follow my Instagram handle at Samson March. Anyway, you guys, this has been a blast. I really hope you had a good time. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, all those things. Share this with your friends. And the best advice I can give anyone is start making things yesterday. I will catch y'all in the next one.